Pieces of a Woman, a true-to-heart movie made with lots of sensibilities. Vanessa Kirby shines all along. It's not quite every day that you witness a performance where a single actor stands out and shines all along with the movie, and that too quite brilliantly. We are talking about the movie, Pieces of a Woman, where we have our main protagonist Martha played almost perfectly, frame by frame, by Vanessa Kirby who shines all along portraying the very mind, body, and soul of the character with minute detailing. Here we have Vanessa Kirby playing the role of Martha who single-handedly pulls out this movie making it worth all your time and effort. And no wonder she got her due recognition at the 77th Venice International Film Festival where she won the Volpe Cup for Best Actress. Vanessa Kirby is immensely successful at giving us a pretty devastating performance of a woman whose life and marriage is in deep turmoil after an unexpected loss. The film had its world premiere on September 4, 2020, at 77th Venice International Film Festival followed by releasing in select theaters on December 30, 2020. It is now being digitally streamed on Netflix from January 7, 2021. This movie features Vanessa Kirby, Shia LaBeouf, Molly Parker, Sarah Snook, Eliza Schlesinger, Benny Safdie, Jimmy Fails, and Ellen Burstyn. Martin Scorsese is one of the executive producers in this movie. This movie is directly related to Mundruxo and Weba's 2018 stage play of the same name, performed by the artistic ensemble. The movie starts unfolding. The movie starts unfolding in Boston, the USA where we have Sean played by Shia LaBeouf, a construction worker, who is working tirelessly to complete a bridge and that too quite quickly. Sean is a former alcohol addict but his overall intentions are rather plain, simple, and pretty straightforward, so much into it that he seldom feels the need to hide them from others. We know that he is expecting a baby in his family soon and wants her to be the first person to cross the bridge. Next, we meet Martha Weiss briefly who works as an executive at an office and can't wait to have an escape from the party that her colleagues have thrown her. Both Martha and Sean love each other and they are early waiting to embrace the little bundle of joy that they are expecting. We also meet Martha's mother who is a bit controlling and communicates with her daughter and about her married life quite often and within her own friends. She is seen irritating Sean by insisting on buying a decent car for the family through the showroom of her car dealer son-in-law Chris played by Benny Safdie. Moment of birth. Now we are at the moment of birth and they are trying to have a conversation with their regular midwife, Barbara. Barbara is unavailable because she is in the middle of a childbirth and she sends another midwife, Eva, played by Molly Parker, as a replacement. Eva earnestly takes on board Martha's desire to have her baby at home and we have an epic 24-minute long sequence of labor pain and childbirth depicting in front of us. Martha portrays every little pain, anxiety, and emotion that a woman goes through while relieving these moments. Martha has shown struggling with an acute feeling of nausea and pain during contractions and, when she reaches 10 centimeters, Eva realizes that the baby's heart rate has dropped drastically low. Sean asks Eva if they are safe to continue this at home and Eva answers in affirmation. Martha gives birth to a baby girl. Everyone is ecstatic and relieved with the results. Eva then suddenly notices the baby is turning into blue and attempts to revive her, but all in vain. The baby goes into cardiac arrest and dies. An year-long odyssey. After an initial prologue of about 30 minutes, we see pieces of the woman on the screen and from there on a year-long odyssey begins unfolding waves of emotions and some powerful acting. It has been one month since the tragic incident, and Martha and Sean are doing the best they can do to cope up with this unimaginable loss they have suffered. They attend an appointment with a coroner and they are eager to find out what went wrong during the whole scene. They learn the cause of death being the low oxygen environment and they have started the criminal proceeding against the midwife, Eva. Here Martha decided that she wants to donate the body to science and research while her husband and the mother want a proper ritual for the baby. Struggling relationship and overbearing mother. What follows the next month is a continuously growing distance between Martha and Sean. While at one end, Martha's relationship with Sean continues to grow sour, her relationship with her mother, Elizabeth, played by Ellen Burstyn is also hitting the rock bottom. Both of them remain deeply depressed while Martha's mother is trying to bury the baby and have a funeral. An affair and potential lawsuit. 
Enter Suzanne, who is Martha's cousin, and also the attorney prosecuting Eva informs them that a lawsuit against Eva will be very lucrative and they can get a lot of money by doing that. Sean and Suzanne start having an affair and Sean is shown going back to drugs to cope up with all the things unfolding in his personal life. Blame Game During a family reunion where everyone including Martha's mother is present, Elizabeth keeps blaming Martha for the baby's death because she is the one who decided to opt for the home birth and also forces her to attend Eva's trial. Elizabeth also tells Sean later in the movie that she never really liked him. Elizabeth offers him some money and asks him to leave the city and Martha and never come back. He leaves for the Seattle to never come back. The final testimony. It's been almost a year that Muntz appears at the court for the testimony at Eva's trial. Martha requests the judge to address the court. In a very emotional appeal, Martha tells the court and everyone present that she does not think that Eva is responsible for what happened during the childbirth. Eva's only intention was to make sure that a healthy baby gets delivered. A month later Martha seems standing on a bridge and scatters her baby's ashes into the river. Years later, a little girl has shown climbing an apple tree. Martha helps her getting down and both go inside together.